today we are going to learn about 10 amazing excel tricks and tips related to pivot tables so before starting this video if you are new on my channel please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my new video and if you want to do practice with me you can download this file from description and start practicing with me right now so our first trick is how to create an pivot table so how we can create that and what is the use of pivot table first i will let you know that part so what is the use of pivot table pivot table is used to summarize to summarize or to analyze your data set to summarize or to analyze your data set we will use what we will use pivot table so let me showcase you with one example right now we have one data set that is order id we have order date we have reason product category sales quantity and discount we have and i want to analyze this data set with the help of pivot table what we will do we will simply select the data set by pressing ctrl a ctrl a is the shortcut to select your old data set now we can simply go to insert tab and here what we have the pivot table option we can click on that and here what we are getting we are getting one dialog box simply i want the pivot table right now in new sheet so i will select this new sheet if you want the pivot table in existing sheet you can select this second option right now i will select this new sheet new worksheet option and i will click on ok i will get a new sheet with a pivot table you can see we are getting a pivot table here and in the right side what we are getting in the right side we have pivot table fields and these are the headings that we have that we have in our data set you can see these are the heading headings part and same we are getting here also so these are the headings and in this below part in this below part what we have we have filters columns rows and value section so simply what we have to do we have to drag and drop the fields these are the headings that we have to drag and drop in different sections like i want to find out let's say in this data set i want to find out product wise sales product wise sales if i want to find out i can simply drag and drop the fields like simply i can drag this product in row section and sales in value section i will get my summary in just few seconds just by dragging and drop and uh, this is not requirement uh, like that is that is not required you know the formula part right it is not required so simply we have to drag and drop to get the summary and we are getting this summary part you can see so this is just an introduction part now i will just start some uh, advanced level also how we can get that like uh, simply if i want to create with this pivot table different or multiple reports for any particular data set for for any particular summary let's say i i have taken here product now i will take this category category also above this product so you can see we are getting more scenario we are getting accessories sum of sales and we are getting what we are getting this summary part of different products so this is our second trick second trick is what i just want to create uh, create multiple reports in this pivot table like i want all the categories like i have the reason here i want four reason data like Let, let's see we have four reason here east north south and west i want all these in different sheets like east sheet i want different north sheet i want different south sheet i want different and west sheet i want different in different sheet i want whole data set for particular reason so what we can do we can simply select this reason in filter section and we can go to pivot table analyze tab and here we have the options and we can simply click on show report filter pages if I click on this, I will automatically get this reason part because this reason is present in the filter. If I click on OK, now you can see we are getting four sheets with the summary, with the summary of particular reason. Like here I'm getting east, next we are getting north, then we are getting south, and we're, then we are getting west. So this is how we can create the summary part. Summary for particular filter show filter what is the option in pivot table analyze tab we have show report filter pages option this is our second trick that we can use to get the summary of any particular filter or any particular reason in different sheets so now i'm just moving to next trick so next trick is what i just want to showcase you one scenario in this pivot table so our third trick is when you double click on any data set of the values section 
of the value section when you double click on any data set you will get the particular entries related to that data like if if i will double click on that i will get particular entries related to headphones only because i have double click on that means you can get the detail just by double click on that simply we can double click on this and we are getting the detail detail of particular product so this is the very important feature that we have we can simply double click and we will get the summary of that particular product this is our third trick now i'm just moving to fourth trick i just want to showcase you right now we are getting what we are getting this accessories this is my category and then i'm getting product so oh, both the scenario both the labels we are getting in one column but it can be possible you want this product part in the next column in that case what you can do you can go to this design tab and here what we have report layout in report layout we have show in tabular form we can simply click on that and we will get this product part in the next column in b column we are getting that part and if you want to repeat that labels here what we have accessories but it is not in repeated repetition mode or it is not in merged mode so in that case what we can do we can simply go to this uh report report layout option and we have the option that is repeat all item labels if i click on that it will repeat that all item labels and if you want to merge that item labels in that case you can do right click and click on pivot table options and here what we have merge and center cells with label if you click on that and click on ok you will get the merge scenario related to your first label right this is how we can use this amazing feature that we have in pivot table if you want to learn tricks and tips like this you can join my paid courses that are available in short and clear excel app you can download that application i will provide that link in the description also you you will find all the paid courses in that application now i'm just moving to next trick so our next trick is how we can create data bars in pivot table here you can see we are getting some values but how we can create the data bars in this simply what we have to do we have to click on home tab here we have condition formatting we can go to data bars and here we can click on more rules and now we have the option of selected cell and second option is all cells showing sum of values so this is the option to make it more dynamic simply we have to choose choose this option and if you want to show only the data bars not the values in that case you will check this option but right now i want to showcase the values also and the bars also simply i will click on ok and i will get the data bars and if you want to create that scenario where you want to showcase only the data bars not these values in that case you can input this sales again above this sum of sales now you are getting the values now you are getting the bars you are getting the bars with the values you can again go to this condition formatting go to data bars more rules and here you can select this all cells part and click on the show bars only and click on ok now you can see we are getting the sales values also and the bars also and what is the benefit of this simply if i will delete let's say category part i will get the bars accordingly and if i will add the category i will get the bars accordingly or let's say if i will add order date also in front of this in above this category part i will get data bars accordingly but right now it is not showcasing like that but what we are getting something here what we have we have the accessories total also if you want to remove this accessories total in that case we can go to design tab and here we can go to the subtotal option and we can click on do not show subtotal and we are not getting the subtotal now and we are getting some some kind of bars but it is not relevant because this is on date wise if you want to group that you want to group this feature you can simply delete this days part and i just want i just want to delete this order date also now we are getting only the group of month now i'm just moving to next trick that is how we can create calculated field in pivot table that is a very important topic that we have so simply what i will do i will apply the pivot table again so that you will get the scenario how we can create the pivot table we can go to insert tab after selecting our range so this is our range i have selected by pressing control a we can go to pivot table and we can click on new sheet and we are getting a new pivot table and simply what i will do i will add a new fields in different sections so i want to analyze now category wise 
even you can place this category in column section this is as per your requirement even i can place this product in row section now i'm getting according to my requirement i can place these fields accordingly right now i want the sales also so now we are getting the sales also and now i want to create one calculated field so how we can create that we can go to this pivot table analyze and here we have field items and sets option and we can click on calculated field and now i will give the name to this as adjusted sales let's say adjusted sales and what is the formula i will type here you can see we have all the headings so i want to create with the sales i want to multiply it by open bracket 1 plus 10 percent means i want to change this sales values into 110 percent i want to convert that simply if i click on add i will get you can see adjusted sales here adjusted sales if i click on ok now i'm getting the adjusted sales also this is my sum of sales and this is my sum of adjusted sales right sum of adjusted sales means what we are getting we are getting plus 10 percent for all the sale values plus 10 percent we are getting in this part so this is how you can create calculated field in pivot table now i'm just moving to next trick that is we have how we can find out difference difference of let's say i have here you can see in the data set what what i have in the data set in the data set i have jan data and if i will scroll down scroll down i have february data also so i just want to find out the difference difference of sales so how we can find out let's add this order date i will remove this category part from the column and i will add this order date in column section now what we are getting i will delete this days part and also this order date part only i want the month so here what we have we have the month also i will delete this adjusted sale now we have the months only i want to find out the difference between the months so how we can do this we can again add this sales sales in the value section because i want to find out the difference in the next column here you can do in the next column right click right click and go to the show values as and click on difference from and here you can choose the base field is as month because i want to find out the difference of months and this will be the base field if i click on ok now you can see we are getting the difference we are getting the difference and i will quickly change this title as difference so now I'm just moving to next trick that is how we can change the formatting of these differences. Let's check if I will press control one, control one is the shortcut to get this format cells. We can go to this custom part and, and in the general first we will select here the arrows. Arrows I want here for the numbers upward arrow and downward arrow I want. So what I will do, I will use windows plus full stop and let's select or search here arrow part. I will choose this upward arrow first upward arrow only one time and then semicolon you can use and again use windows plus full stop and select downward arrow search for arrow and select here downward arrow Where is that this one now also i want to give here color part so for this upward arrow i will give color 10 and for downward arrow i will give here red color so this color 10 is related to green and this red is related to red. If I click on OK, now you can see what we are getting. We are getting the formatting for downward arrow. And I want to apply this formatting to whole. So how we can apply? Simply let's again click on that. I will select this range. And already if you will scroll down here, you have the same formatting. So I've given which formatting color this one. Now you can see for the positive values, I'm getting this upward arrow and for the negative values, I'm getting this downward arrow. So this is how you can give number format. Now I'm just moving to next trick. That is how we can insert timelines in pivot table. So here you can see we have this data set. I know I want to just insert timelines in this. Before that, I will quickly rephrase or reframe this data set. I will delete all these things. I just want product and also I want here sales. 
product and sales I want. Now, if I want to insert the timeline, I can go to this pivot table analyze and we can click on insert timeline. And here you can see what is this timeline. Timeline is only used for date part. You can simply get the column name of the date that you have in your data set. So simply I will check this option and click on OK. I will get the timeline here. Now we have the data related to only Jan and Feb. So I will select this Jan. If, if I will select this Jan, I will get data related to Jan. If I will select this Feb, I will get data related to Feb. Even you can check this year part even if you will have the multiple year data you can use this year option you can choose different years from that even if you have quarters you can select this quarters also even if you will if you want to select the days you can select this days option also and if you want to clear that you can simply click on clear so this is how we can use this timeline feature now i'm just moving to next feature that we have is how we can group how we can group our labels in pivot table so here you can see i just want to group let's say laptop or mobile i can simply select these two labels laptop or mobile i can do right click on this and we have the feature that is group if i click on group now you can see we have a new new group of laptop and mobile and we can even rename this let's say i will rename this as a uh, high budget devices According to my requirement, I can give the names accordingly. So here what we are getting, we are getting the group feature. Even you can create the group of date. So this will be our next trick. We can create the group of date. So how we can create that? Let's let me showcase you uh, here. You can see uh, we have the date. I will simply drag and drop this date in the row section. Now what we are getting, we are getting date part. I will quickly remove this product. Product. Date wise sales we are getting right now. And I want to ungroup this. I can do right click and click on ungroup. Now we have only the dates. We don't have the grouped or the month scenario. We have only date. So if I want to group again, I can do right click and click on group feature. And here we have the feature of days we can select, unselect the month and here we can type the number of days like I want to group 1 to 7, like 7 days I want to group, every 7 days I want to group, I can simply click on OK. Now you can see 1 to 7 we are getting 8 to 14, 15 to 21, 22 to 28. So this is how you can group this date column. So in this video till now we have covered 10 plus amazing pivot table tricks and tips that will make you advance in excel if you want to learn tricks and tips like this you can join my paid courses that are available in short and clear excel app you can download that application i will provide that link in the description also you you will find all the paid courses in that application and if you have any doubt related to this video you can do comment in the comment section and if you want more videos like this uh, you can simply like this video so that i will get the motivation to create more videos like this i think so i have covered multiple scenarios related to pivot table and thank you so much for watching this full video and stay tuned for more tricks and tips like this